Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about write blockers and uh, this week we were talking about acquisition and acquiring data and one of the things we have to do is make sure we do not modify the suspect disk. We do not want to change anything on the original uh, suspect disk. So uh, we have here an external write blocker and this is a Tableau uh, forensic write blocker and I can see on the left hand side here, I can, uh, this is the side that I connect to my forensic workstation or the computer that I have. Um, and I see that it supports uh, different versions of Firewire, uh, USB 2.0, which I know is going to be relatively slow. Um, and then also eSATA. So here eSATA is probably going to be one of the faster connections. So I'm probably going to want to use the eSATA connection to connect to my um, forensic workstation if I can. Um, so just some uh, the the connectors on the side here we see uh, different types of firewire this is the uh, the port or the connector for power power coming into the right blocking device because it has to have power to, to work so we have power coming into the right blocking device and then we choose one of these connectors that we want to connect back to our forensic workstation it can be usb but that will be relatively slow firewire um, which some computers don't support anymore. And then I have eSATA. And like I said, that's probably going to be um, one of the faster ways to connect. So uh, I can see whenever I actually plug this in, I have a couple different identifiers here. Uh, we have a power button to actually turn the device on. Um, so does the device have power? Um, can we detect the device, the actual suspect device that we're connecting to it, uh, can we detect the host that we're connecting to? Um, is write blocking actually enabled, right? And is there activity going on? So is there any connectivity or activity from the host to the device? And I, I haven't shown you yet, but on this side, we have um, uh, connectors for the actual, what they call device. So the suspect device will go on this side, and this is a connector for SATA, right? So this supports SATA connectors, and this is actually the power for the SATA connector. And here I have uh, one of the connectors for SATA or a SATA disk. So I can see that this would be like an internal SATA disk. And these are the connectors that um, this is for power, and this is for the actual data transmission. So I can connect uh, the SATA uh, connector to the right blocker like this. Okay, so now I have basically coming in uh, a SATA connector that would connect to, for example, a hard drive. And I have uh, the SATA connector going through, connecting to the right blocker, and then connecting out to my forensic workstation. And the idea is that my forensic workstation should be able to connect to this, see the hard drive uh, like, like a normal hard drive, but not be able to uh, write anything to the hard drive. It can only read from the hard drive and not write back to it. So here I have a hard drive and this is a, a SATA hard drive. So it should be internal. It's an internal hard drive and I can tell it's SATA because of this connector. This is basically the, the point for data. Uh, this is the point for power. Um, so this is a basically a normal internal SATA hard drive. This is a hard disk drive, not a solid state disk. Um, and again, whenever we're dealing with, with hard drives, we never want to touch the circuitry. Do not put your hands directly on uh, anything green. You see I'm holding everything basically from the sides. The sides are usually um, the point where you want to hold these devices. Um, so I can see that it's SATA. So we have our, our write blocker here. And I have my SATA connector already plugged in or connected up. So I want to connect my hard drive. Uh, hope this gets on camera. I want to connect my hard drive basically like this. And now we have, if you can see it, we have our hard drive, our suspect hard drive. It will receive power and transmit data to our write blocker. Our write blocker will be connected back to our forensic workstation and this device will prevent us writing or changing any data on the hard disk. So what we're able to do now is acquire all of the data from this hard disk uh, without having to worry about any uh, changes to the hard disk. Now, um, you did see before there are uh, some a few indicator lights, for example, power, device detect, host detect, write block. Um, we definitely want to make sure whenever we plug uh, the write blocker in to begin with that host detect 
is is uh, lit up and I usually what you what you should do is have a test hard drive that you can connect up and make sure that write block is actually enabled uh, make sure that the write block light is on make sure the device detect light is on with your test hard drive first you do not want to use the suspect hard drive uh, to begin with you want to use your test hard drive first once you know that your write blocker is working okay then you can connect every uh, you can disconnect and uh, connect back up the suspect hit disk and start working with the suspect disk. Okay, so this is my SATA, um, my SATA write blocker. I also have another write blocker here. Tableau makes quite a few uh, different types, and basically we have the same uh, lights or indicator lights again. This one also has a menu um, for uh, a couple different things. We have power over here, and um, on one side we have USB. On the other side, we have USB. So in this case, this is a USB write blocker because a lot of disks we get might be USB hard drives. Um, so in the, this is basically the same concept. We have this uh, write blocker. We would put the uh, device, and this is USB 3.0, so we know it's going to be relatively quick. We have the device on this side, and we can just plug in the suspect device, in this case, the USB stick. And then out on the other side, uh, this connects back to our host our host uh, computer. Now, in this case, because I'm dealing with a flash disk, this is a USB sticks are usually, or are flash, um, the write blocker will block my forensic workstation from writing any changes to this disk. However, this has a controller inside of it, and some changes are possible because of the way that flash memory works. Um, so we have to be careful about that. If we, for example, get a different hash value after we uh, acquire this disk image, um, it could be because of the internal workings of the flash drive, or it could be because our, our, our write blocker was done in, in inappropriate or incorrectly, or uh, maybe it's bad or something. So definitely make sure um, before you actually use suspect disks uh, with your write blockers, um, you always test the disk to make sure that um, it is working as you expect it to work. Um, and then also think about the media you're using. If you're using something like Flash, well, how does Flash storage work? Um, how does hard disk, how do hard disk drives work? And what are the chances of the data changing? based on um, something either you've done or the way that they just work normally. Um, so that's it for uh, external write blockers. Next, we'll talk about how to acquire uh, data from these disks directly.